What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Motion guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. <laughs> This town was your home? It was, and should still be. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. <laughs> How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. The thanes and clergy of Lincolnshire are not fond of me, but they do not yet know me well enough. Not truly.
people of Lincoln are not welcoming to Danes. It's troubling, I know. Hunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers, or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little lordly. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. There's damp on the air. I fear great clouds will gather soon. Aye, and foul deep.
Go, Zulin. Move along. Lincoln seems a good place to trade, does he? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house alone? Oh, from time to time. Yes. Returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunward, we had no news of your return. You might have sent a messenger and spared us the suspense. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm.
I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens! God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hunwald, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. <laughs> 